Welcome to the Publishing to the Learning Object Repository demo. In this demo, you will learn how to publish files into the LOR. Before starting this demo, you will need to have your files readily available for uploading. Note that everything you publish in the LOR should be ADA compliant. All of your videos should be closed captioned or have a written script to go along with them. All audio recordings should have a written script to go along with it. At the end of this demo, you will be able to upload, tag, and publish files into the LOR. First, log in to your Detail Brightspace account, go into your course, and go into the LOR tool. Click on the Publish tab. Then, click on the Choose File button. Locate the file on your computer, and click the Open button. Then, in the Publish To section, select the repository you want this file published in. You will only be able to publish to repositories that your course belongs to. If this file already exists in the LOR and you want to save this newer copy on top of it, choose the Overwrite Existing Object option instead of picking a repository. Then, click on the Search button and find and select the object you want to replace. If you need help searching for an object, review the Searching the LOR demo. From the Sharing and Publishing Options section, check the boxes next to the options you want to use. Published in the background means the file will be queued to be published and will be added without using a lot of system resources. Note, this object might not be available immediately after you finish submitting it. Hide learning object in search results means that users can't use the search feature to find this file. Creative Commons license deals with copyright protections. Check the box next to Create Commons license. Click the drop down arrow next to Allow Modifications and change it to Do Not Allow Modifications. Uncheck the box next to Allow Use for Commercial Purposes. Then click the Next button to continue. The Object Properties page is one of the most important pages about your file. This page allows you to give an enormous amount of detailed information about your file. The more time you spend here describing your file, the better and easier the search feature will work for you later. You can add the following categories of information, classifications, general, educational, rights, and life cycle. By clicking on any of the question marks in a circle, you will get additional details about what that option is looking for. The fields with a red asterisk next to it are required, but again, the more information you fill out on your files, the better the LOR search tool will function. We recommend that you at least include your last name, the course you use the file in, such as ACC 101, and a general description. You will also want to include more specific keywords, such as the book it goes with and the chapter. Remember that you will filter these keywords later to find these files. So if you want files to show up under your name when you filter by ACC 101 Chapter 2, this is the time to attach that information to the file. Classifications allow you to classify your file based on Bloom's Taxonomy and GEM. Click on this link to add the classifications to your file. Click the green plus sign to add the classification to your file. Use the Classification Schema drop-down menu to switch between Bloom's Taxonomy and GEM, and click the Select button. Use the trash can to remove the classification from your file. Click the Save button when you are finished. 
General. This category groups the general information that describes this learning objective as a whole. The title field will pull in the file name of the file you uploaded. Edit this title to what you want to show up in the LOR. Example, add the course prefix and number to the title. This will be useful later so that all of the files for this course will be sorted together. In the description field, type in a detailed description of what the file contains and what it is used for. In the keywords field, type in keywords that describe your file. We also suggest adding your last name as a keyword. Educational. This category describes the key educational characteristics of this learning object. From the Learning Resources Type dropdown, pick the category that best fits your file. Rights. This category describes the intellectual property rights and conditions of use for this learning object. Note, if you chose Creative Commons rights on the previous page, those rights will show up here. If you didn't choose those rights, select Yes from the drop-down menu here. Life Cycle This category describes the history and current state of this learning object and those entities that have affected this learning object during its evolution, such as version. If you have a version number for your file, type it in the version field. For the name field, type in your last name, comma, your first name. Once you have filled in all of the information you can about the file, click on the Publish button. Once the import is complete, click on the Done button or the Publish Another Object button to publish another object. You have now successfully published files into the LOR tool.